hope I never have to sit through so many speeches ever again. Oh, come on, they gave us medals. <laughs> yes, the Saved Us From Ourselves Award is quite an honor. I did enjoy the look on Secretary Locale's face, though. He didn't look too happy during your speech. It's because my speech wasn't very good. Odyssey to Shuttlecraft Royson. You're cleared to enter Shuttle Bay 2. Laws, is that you? Yes, Lieutenant. What's the matter? Ensign, I scheduled you to Gamma Shift. What happened? Reassigned, sir. Subcommander to Laura's orders. <sighs> that usurping little twit. I had my reasons, Lieutenant. You forgot I forgot about, about the, the open, open channel. channel. I don't suppose there's any way I can bribe you into getting along with her, is there? Trust me, you have nothing I want. All right, I'll just sit on my unused holodeck minutes. Well, wait. Maybe. Proximity alert. Arkan battleship on an intercept course. Rogue! Study to Odyssey. Commander Rowe is not on board. Stand by, Lieutenant. Identify yourself. I am Captain Tyvis Mullin of the Kelvin Militia. Lieutenant Commander Roe Nevin has committed a crime against our government. Per Kelvin law, he will be executed. Of course, we will not permit you to execute a member of our crew. I welcome the commanding officer of your ship to come aboard and attempt to convince me otherwise. Who speaks for the Odyssey now? I do. Very well, Sub Commander Talora. I will receive you and your party aboard my vessel in one hour. Okay. So he knows a lot more about us than we do about him. The Calvins neglected to inform us of his existence. Lieutenant, per Starfleet regulations, I am assuming command of the Odyssey. I believe there's a form letter for you to file in the event that you object to this act. No objection, Subcommander. Those are the rules. You are in command. There's no need for pleasantries. I have Lieutenant Commander Rowe. I intend to kill him. You hope to stop me. Executing our commanding officer will end a successful partnership. Without our assistance, however indirect, you could not have secured this ship. Your refugees would be dead, and you would have lost your war against the Arkans. Look around you, Sub-Commander. I do not lose to the Arkan. I killed most of them with my own hands. Commander Rowe should have been executed by now. Clearly, you are stalling. If you have demands, state them. He's trying to figure us out. What's our angle? What do we want from him? What's it like to have depth perception? I once knew a telepath. I knew her so well, I could see the subtle strain in her eyes as she tried to read me. She never could. I see that very same strain in your eyes. 
When Lieutenant Commander Rowe helped to bring about the destruction of our Omega Molecule, he broke the law. No matter the outcome, any interference in the affairs of the state carries a severe penalty. And in the absence of civilian legal authority, the militia operates the justice system. So, your judge, jury, and executioner. Rowe deserves special consideration. His execution has been stayed at my request. That execution could be stayed even further, if you join me. My ship requires supplies and repairs. You will replenish the energy that we have used to sustain your people's fleet before we discuss any plans to integrate. Roe Nevin strikes me as being too polite to be a true leader. I sense that it is you who are his driving force, Sub-Commander Talora. Perhaps it is you that I should execute. At least he considers all the options. You need the support of this fleet. Odyssey is too popular to side against right now. You may have the firepower, but I have the leverage. Very well. Captain Talora. You will have all the supplies you need and my best engineering team. And Ro? He will not be harmed. You have my word. I need to see him immediately. Prisoners cannot be seen. If you don't let me see him, your prisoner will die and your little arrangement with us will end. He has a rare Bajoran condition known as Kwaifu's malady. It is fatal without constant treatment. I was not aware of this. It's not something I like to talk about. Men of strength do not hide their weaknesses. He should be fine for the next few days, but I will need to administer treatments on a regular basis. He will be treated when I deem it necessary. What am I supposed to do about these Kelvin engineers? My people can't work around them. And senior engineers have been reassigned, yourself included. Calvin engineers will maintain Odyssey until further notice. There's no way they know this ship better than we do. Calvin technology is far superior to our own. Upgrading ship's defenses and making crucial repairs is far more important than upsetting morale. It's a trap. Tybus is plotting something and he's going to use those engineers to accomplish it. Surprisingly, I am quite confident that you can detect and remove any threats to the ship before we are jeopardized. I do detect a threat. Those engineers, remove them and we'll be fine. If we remove the engineers, Tybus will kill Commander Rowe and every last one of us and then use Odyssey to murder Arkin citizens. So, I can't be a doctor, Gillen can't be an engineer, Stardy can't secure the ship. What should we be doing exactly? For the moment, Acclimating yourselves to the fact that Ro Nevin is no longer in command. Dismissed. Lieutenant Stadi, you will remain. If I remove you from your position as second officer, the crew will not respond to my authority. But if you continue to undermine that authority, I will have no other choice. A Romulan soldier commanding a Federation starship. I'm sure your rivals would be jaundiced with envy if we were in our own galaxy. But you don't engender trust, faith, or sacrifice from this crew. Starfleet officers are trained to follow orders, and to their detriment, this crew will. Either they stay and fight, or leave and die. But I will not sacrifice my principles just to safeguard the worthless feelings of a frail crew. So... We can count on your loyalty? If you attempt to rescue him, I will make certain the Kelvin know who tried. Dismissed. You are an unremarkable person, Roe Nevin. I know everything there is to know about you, and there is nothing that impresses me. Your actions belie your inherent cowardice. That is your only saving grace, it seems. You don't know the first thing about me. And if you did, you know I'm not afraid of you. I believe you fear everything. That is why you do not keep the Omega for yourself. Why you do not use it to get home. Why you do not call yourself captain. You fear power. I am power. I am not afraid of words. Great men have received this honor. Remarkable men. Men of faith, men of skill, men. You did not take control of this ship without getting your hands dirty. 
But a lot of people died for your vengeance. Meanwhile, the refugees were nearly obliterated by the Arkans and by their own short-sightedness. They needed true leadership. I am not the man you think I should be, Lieutenant Commander Rowe. When Lanko is the leader, I am the warrior. When we find our new home, when we have subdued the Aachen, a man like me will be worthless. In the meantime, I do what is needed for our survival. Killing doesn't protect anyone. Secretary Lokel was infuriated with Minister Malanka when he bestowed this medal upon you. Beware the friend who hates you, Ro Nevin. You don't look so fast to me. Beg your pardon? Quifel's malady. <laughs> fast thinking on your part. You knew the only way to get close to Roe again was if we had some compelling reason, like a pre-existing medical condition. You know, Subcommander Talorda might be alarmed to find you in here talking to me right now. And you weren't scanning Roe, were you? You were scanning the cell security sensors. And its field emitter. Very interesting, Lieutenant. You waited for my answer rather than probe my mind. I'm trying to form a personal connection with you. <laughs> I doubt we work well together otherwise. Work well doing what, exactly? Commander Rowe's not going to break out of his cell and get off the Drazen without a little bit of help. It pains me to see you this way. Be a man of faith, Ron Evan. Ask the prophets for guidance. How do you know about the prophets? Our cultural information exchange. Why do you not wear your earring? Wearing a symbol of faith does not befit a commanding officer. I believe the opposite is true. For meditation, open it. Where did you get this? Centuries ago, on Kelva, you could buy these prayer boxes on any street corner. They're handmade by hermetic religious order, back when we worshipped gods. This is my earring. It's in a drawer in my quarters aboard Odyssey. Your prophets work in mysterious ways. We have much to discuss. Repairs are proceeding on schedule. Shields and weapons will be operational in the morning. What of your cloak? Fully operational. Very good. If you wanted a status report, you could have simply hailed me. What is your goal for this evening? My, my. You don't let a man engage in a chase, do you? There is nothing to chase. I have been conscripted into your army. Then why did I invite you here tonight? I am not your wife. But there may be a part of me that reminds you of her. Such insight. From what I read about Romulans, Empathy is not a cultural trait. I was being neither insightful nor empathetic, merely assessing the situation before me, as any good soldier would. This is the plan of attack against the Aachen. It will cripple their military infrastructure. Please assess this.
Prophet, hear me on this day. Who are you? 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 In reviewing your previous missions, I note that you are cavalier when it comes to casualties. The loss of personnel and equipment do not factor into your decisions. The Arkin overwhelm their foes with sheer numbers. They are grossly inefficient in this way. For every thousand they lose in battle, I lose only ten. This plan will be successful, solely on the Odyssey's involvement. Yes. I must be compensated for the lives I will lose. They are not your lives, are they? You don't consider yourself one of them, no more than I consider myself one of you. You are confined to humanoid form. As you are confined to a ship full of humans, we are both trapped. Here's the modified tricorder you requested. You can piggyback on any subspace channel with it to get messages through. Where's this phaser? It'll be detected by the Drazen sensors, so he's gonna have to get a Kelvin weapon or go hand to hand. Shouldn't be a problem. What kind of a doctor are you? The kind we need right now. I can't leave the ship, it would arouse suspicion. I guess, but if we lose you, we're out of Chief Medical Officer. I'll be fine, Ensign. Just focus on your job. Ensign, the Kelvin engineers will depart within the hour. I'll need you to keep a lookout for anything suspicious, anything they left behind. Check the ODN and the computer core for sabotage. Understood. But wait, how's he going to get on board without being detected? Mm -hmm. Subdermal biochip will fool their senses into thinking I'm a healthy, strapping, humanoid encased Calvin. So you're just going to beam on board as though you belong there? Of course not. Don't be silly. He's going to hitch a ride. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? What do you want from me? Take off your shirt, Guapo. What? Who are you? Come on, take off your shirt. Let's hit the beach. Liza, this is our honeymoon suite. This is my suite. This isn't real. You're not Corey. Who are you? Who are you? You do not deserve to live. We must help him find his way. Will you take a chance? Everything you need is right before you. Every moment has a purpose. Every event turns into another. Your life, the life of others, everything has brought me to this moment. What does that mean? Only the willing can accept a destiny. Do you have the courage to do what is necessary? What are you asking of me? Don't let infinity end. The Arkans send their military recruits to five planets for basic training. A small convoy escorts these recruits on their transport. 
Tybus has obtained coordinates to one of these planets and intends to destroy it. That's flatly murder. Then there's no way the Arkan forces are so small. This has to be bad intelligence or a trap. In their attempt to conquer Romulan space, the Arkan fleet have been spread thin. Patrols reduce, resources shifted. These training planets are vulnerable. We will proceed to this one cloaked. Odyssey is not combat ready. Those Coven engineers made a mess of the EPS grid. And we have to assume the convoy is going to be heavily armed. Captain Tybus is well aware of our situation. We have our orders. We will depart in 30 minutes. Dismissed. I've dismissed you, Lieutenant. Cut the crap, Talora. You don't want to be a part of this any more than the rest of us. You're right about him. He'll kill you as soon as he's done with us. Enough. Talora, listen to me. We have a plan to save Nevin, but we can't save him or stop Tybus without your help. You'll be on the bridge with him. Your plan will fail. If you thought his plan had any merit, you wouldn't have tried to kill him last night. How dare you? Those thoughts are mine. You can't sucker punch a telepath. You don't need to trust us to make this work. You just have to want to stay alive. Lieutenant Stadi, review and sign this work order. You will find every modification to be necessary and vital to Odyssey's survival in this galaxy. Captain Tybus is proud to have you serve in our militia. While some of us have gone above and beyond the call of duty, that's probably what's impressed him the most. I look forward to checking out everything your engineers have had their hands on. We are an honorable people. That makes two of us. Shuttle Bay Reinforce Field activated. Minister, I must disturb you. The Drazen leaves for battle within the hour. I will be on it. You were never with me. You were never with us. Choice. Nothing he knows can prepare him. Nothing he looks to can help him. He will find his own way. He will discover his own answers. It is your destiny. I'm not afraid of the unknown. I choose my own destiny, whatever that means. You will lose one. Who's one? How? Why? Nevin, it's okay. Lose one! You have to do this. One for one. But they're my crew! I can't do this! You must. Move. 
zero brain function only a moment ago. Extremely lucky that I arrived when I did. Now all we have to do is get to the shuttle bay. We'll be back on Odyssey. Okay. Okay. Unfortunately, the only route to the shuttle bay that won't lead to RS involves a two-story climb. What are you up for it? Uh, give me a minute, will you? Of course, sir. We're entering the system. The Arkan convoy is a million kilometers away. Kill the bridge. Lieutenant Stadi, I found what we're looking for. It's attached to the ODN lines, designed to override command functions. Can you remove it? I... just did. Nice work, Ensign. We're within visual range of the planet. On screen. Red alert, all hands to battle stations. The Drazen's powering weapons. Get ready to be target practice. Two one seven mark two seven. Two one seven mark two seven. Hang on. You have been compromised. <sighs> Looks like Talora won't be joining us after all. Wait. What about Talora? She's on the bridge with Tybus. Commando, what are you doing? She's probably already dead. There's only one way to find out. Oh, bloody hell. These modifications really are working. I don't recommend blocking them all. Just keep the shields up! <laughs> Fluctuations in the EPS grid, cause unknown. Something was beamed into the main computer core. A primary command sector was literally removed and replaced with new codes. I might be able to reverse the transport and restore command control, but I'll need a couple of minutes. Odyssey's, Odyssey's been, sabotaged. been sabotaged. I've lost helm control. We're heading for the planet. The EBS conduits are overloading. We're a bomb. Ninety seconds to grid overload. Gillen, hurry the hell up! Those aren't going to help us. Our network relays talk to each other like a game of telephone. If I can start a rumor that the bridge consoles are about to overload, they will. Transport. EPS grid stabilizing. And I've got helm control. Lock onto our people and get them out of there. We were unable to confirm the destruction of the Drazen. Your fleet still may have its protection. No. The protection I seek is warping away from us right now. Safe journey, Ron Evan. May we meet again. Same to you, Minister. Come in. You're still in pain? Not the physical kind. I adjusted the duty rosters to accommodate Lieutenant Stoddy's requests. Why? It seems very unlike you. Without cooperation, how will the ship function? I ask myself that every day. So what do you think? Should we have stayed to protect the Kelvin? No, sir. Fleet safety was a drain on our resources. Yeah, so much for making allies out here. The Kelvin are out for revenge. Our partnership allowed them to sustain acts of vengeance. I think it's safe to say that most of the races of this galaxy have an axe to grind with the Arkan. Still, 
there are likely to be other races with which we share one common objective. And what sort of objective should we have in common with our allies, Subcommander? Survival. Thank you, Talora. Dismissed. Maybe there's hope for us yet. <laughs>